What's up, y'all? It's Arshan Law back with another video. And right now, I want to talk about moon gazing. And I want to break down the proper way on how to moon gaze, the purpose of it, and how to really use it to your advantage. So, the moon, right? Spiritually speaking, the moon relates to your feelings, your emotions, and your reactions, the way that you react to things. And then gazing, this has to do with to pay attention to something, to admire, to look at something, or to have some sort of belief towards something. So when you first sit down to start moon gazing, you want to go into it with the feelings and the emotions upon any situation that you want to know about. And what's going to happen right after that is that old feelings and emotions are going to pop up towards that situation. But what you're going to want to do is recognize, realize, and then let them go and clear your mind out and let new feelings and emotions come about. And what you want to do is pay more attention to those and learn how to decipher between the old feelings and the new feelings. And it's like the more that you start to practice doing this, the more that you're going to start to be able to become more spiritually stronger. But if you ever receive a bad feeling upon this situation that you want to be more enlightened about, do not ignore that. Because one, that's how the moon works. Two, that could be the moon just saying, if you were to actually manifest this situation into your life, you may actually feel like this if you were to actually experience that. And then three, that could just be the actual truth that you're just trying to ignore and resist. But that's the main purpose and how to properly moon gaze. In order to really use moon gazing to your advantage, I would say you would have to keep up with the moon phases. Because if you do that, you can calculate your intentions towards whatever moon phase that the moon may be in at the moment. For an example, if it's a new moon, you can come with the intentions of new ideas, wanting to know how to really feel about new things that may have came about into your life. And then when you're dealing with a full moon, a full moon correlates to the full potential. So this would be the best time to want to manifest any broad feeling that you would like to feel and experience for you. But another way for you to really use moon gazing to your advantage would be to meditate and to actually put in the energy work behind it. And what I mean by putting in the energy work is that you can actually use your physical body, your vehicle, to actually get you, you know, a step closer toward to manifesting that feeling that situation into your life. And then of course, if you were to go to meditate, you would want to clear your mind when you go do it. But in the back of your head, in the back of your subconscious, you still want to have those intentions deep down within you. So therefore, whenever you finish moon gazing, you still have those intentions in the back of your head. And the way that the universe is going to look at that is that you're still resonating with that idea. You're still resonating with trying to manifest that into your life. But it's Arshan Law back with another video on breaking down moon gazing, the proper way to use it, and how to really use it to your advantage. But peace, man. Stay up. Look out.